So I was intrigued by this story, Jesse. We're going to be talking to Nathan Carpenter, who is working on an interesting project. Nathan, what are you working on now in Rhode Island? Uh, so we're trying to turn Rhode Island into the first state to be run exclusively on renewable energy. Obviously, Rhode Island is the smallest state, uh, but we are also the second most densely settled state. We have 400 miles of coastline. And, um, you know, if that wasn't the perfect formula already, uh, we only produce one to four percent of our overall energy um, needs within our state. Uh, so what a better way to transfer over to um, um, all renewable energy than uh, right here in Rhode Island. Wow. And, and how are you going to do this? So uh, what we want to do is create a public or quasi public agency and use the profits from the project in order to pay for it uh, and give annual dividends back to the citizens of Rhode Island. So, um, you know, you see a little bit of pushback from people that are a little more fiscally conservative uh, when it comes to how you pay for the project. Obviously, that's uh, completely alleviated when you have a public or quasi-public agency, uh, and we're also going to be incentivizing people to uh, make this switch through dividends. Uh, dividends have been given out for about 30 years in Alaska, um, and, and in 2015, while oil prices were high, every citizen was given uh, $2,000 back. So. Uh, family of four was given uh, eight grand. Uh, so while you know we're looking at this as a um, uh, uh, way to combat global warming with the urgency that it deserves, uh, we also um, see this as a, as being a sound business plan uh, for the people up on uh, Smith Hill. So you're saying that even if I don't care about climate change, uh, this plan is still going to put money back in my pocket? Correct. Correct. Yeah, I've actually pitched this to Trump supporters. Um, I haven't talked about uh, the climate crisis with them, but I mentioned, uh, you know, clean air, um, uh, you know, thousands of jobs that couldn't be exported, a stronger local economy, and uh, they love it. You know, this could really bring prosperity back to um, our state, uh, you know, one that is uh, always the first one into a recession and the last one out of it. Um, we're, we're always in need of money. We have pension shortfalls, you know, our education system is crumbling, um, and we need money. And, you know, by doing something like this, we um, significantly, um, you know, soften the blow. What does it mean that Rhode Island only makes a small amount of its own energy? So uh, every year we export $3 billion to supply us with the energy that we need. Um, so, you know, by switching over to being uh, self-sufficient through renewable energy, we could have a new revenue stream, uh, you know, of, of three to six billion dollars, depending on how much we can actually produce. Now, if people want to learn more or help, uh, where can they go to find out more information? Uh, so if you go to www.riprogressivedems.com, uh, we're trying to make our final payment to the engineers that are citing uh, Cranston for wind, solar, and tidal energy uh, in hopes of showing proof of concept before we move on to phase two, which is citing the rest of the state. Well, thank you. Th this might start waves across the country. Mm -hmm. That's our hope. Uh, we were the birthplace of the Industrial Revolution, and uh, my question is why can't we be uh, the birthplace of the Energy Revolution as well? Thank you so much, Nathan, for telling us about that. If you are in the Rhode Island area on November 6th at 7 p.m. at Buttonwoods Brewery in Cranston, Rhode Island, they'll be presenting their blueprint for renewable energy utility. Thanks so much for watching this Now You Know clip. Head over to Now You Know channel for full episodes of Tesla Time News and in depth. And if you want to treat yourself and your family to something amazing, check this out. Jesse and I have been enjoying Master Class, where we've been learning all sorts of fun topics from the masters themselves. Magic from Penn and Teller. Yes, that Penn and Teller. Filmmaking from Spike Lee. Yeah, that Spike Lee. TV writing from Shonda Rhimes. Acting from Helen Mirren. And so many more. Click the link down below to support our channel and experience what it's like to learn from the masters at Masterclass.